guys welcome back to a new vlog um it is currently friday at 10 a.m and i decided to film a weekend in my life because why not i'm going thrifting tomorrow and i always like watching thrifting vlogs so that's probably gonna be the majority i look disgusting right now because i taught a bar class this morning <sighs> and whenever i teach bar classes i don't like wash my face or get ready or anything before them, so that's why I look so disgusting. I just went and dropped my clothes off at Play-Doh's. Hopefully they buy stuff, but considering they're having a big sale and they said one basket per person, they're probably not gonna buy a lot right now. We'll see, can't hurt to try. Um, today, I'm so excited. I have literally nothing to do. I mean, I have a lot to do, but nowhere to go, I guess is what I should say. It's been a crazy week. I've taught, I think, seven bar classes maybe eight let me count seven but i also taught on saturday the day before the week started so if you count that i've just taught i've taught a lot i'm really sore physically and tired i didn't sleep well last night so i'm just excited to have a day in today um the urge to stay and shop at play-dohs and the urge to go roam around target is very strong but i know i'm going thrifting tomorrow so i'm not going to do either of those things. Another thing I'll probably also show in this vlog is every weekend, this semester at least, I go to ballet class on Saturdays and I go to aerial class on Sundays, which are, is honestly my favorite part of the weekend. I know a lot of people like their Sundays to like rest and not do anything, but as a dancey girl who wants to do dance in the future, having those classes is my joy. It's truly one of my happiest parts of the weekend. I am going out tomorrow night for a friend's birthday. Just lots of things are going on. The joy I just experienced. So um, one thing about me is I am a thread up lover. I don't know if you've heard of thread up. It's an online thrift store. I love thrifting and I also just enjoy ordering things and having little packages in my door. And I don't get to do that a ton because online shopping is expensive, but thread up kind of combines with both of those. And it's also like good for the environment, I guess. Um, so please ignore my turkey trot shirt. This was just the first thing I found to throw on this morning to teach. But I got home just now and I placed a thread up order on like Wednesday. Maybe it was Tuesday, maybe it was Wednesday. Either way, it's Friday. I did not expect this to be here so fast. They always shock me with how fast they ship things out, but I had a return credit for uh, an item that I had returned but gotten back as store credit instead of on my card, so that was expiring. So that's why I placed an order, um, and so it's a pretty small order because I just wanted to like utilize my return credit, but here we go. My little polka dot box here. I was just so happy when I got home because, like I was saying, I'm so tired today. So it made me so happy to see this sitting there when I wasn't even expecting it. Okay, I think I only got three things. I think I got two shirts and a pair of shoes. So, yeah, I got some ba <laughs> definitely basics. But I've been looking for. Okay, I'm not sure how this will do. I was looking for a basic white T-shirt that's not see-through. I've been looking for a basic white T-shirt that's not see-through for so long. Okay, well, we'll see. I'll try it on. Suspicious for that one. This is... Okay. Also not what I was expecting. If you look up closely, you can see this has got like a, a texture to it. Well, you can even see that from far away, kind of. This is not what it looked like. Like, I didn't see the texture on it in the picture. So again, we'll try this on. This is from... This is a Zara... I don't know what brand this is. X Carla. So I have no idea. I'm not I'm not usually a brand's girl. When it's thrifted, that is. Obviously, if I'm buying straight from the place, I'm not gonna buy from like Shein and those very low ethical brands. But when I'm thrifting and it's secondhand, I don't really look closely at brands. Anyways, I'll try that on too. I don't have, I don't know how high hopes I have for either of those, but let's look at the shoes. Hopefully those are good. I just needed a basic new pair of sneakers, so I got these, picked these out. Um, these look good. 
yeah. So this is definitely see-through. <laughs> I'm wearing a blue sports bra type thing underneath and you can absolutely see right through it. So that's disappointing. I also don't really love these little slits on the side here. So this was a final sale item though, cause this one was really, really cheap. So I guess I'm gonna be keeping this, but that's so disappointing. I've been on the search for so long for a plain white t-shirt that just is good. It has a little bit of a crop and is just good. And this, this one is just not gonna be it for me. So that is disappointing. I'm covering up because I would put like little stickies on underneath this one. But besides that, this one actually fits really well. Um, I like it a lot and I feel like this is a solid like basic top that I could, definitely not a workout top, but a solid top that I could throw on just like going out for the day or going out for the night in the summertime. Um, basic black one shoulder top. So okay, this one's a win. So let's try on the shoes. Here they are. So I don't know how, I can't show you how they're too big. My toe is like, the end of my toe is here. Look at that. <laughs> when you're in the shoe store and your mom's like pushing on your feet, that's what I'm feeling like right now. Yeah, they're good. They're definitely like a grandpa shoe, I, I would say. I would classify because my grandpa would absolutely like wear these. But that's what I like, you know? I like a chunky tennis shoe. I just wish they could get a little tighter this way, but I think if I work with these laces, I can make that happen. <laughs> I just took a huge fall. Ow! A fun little set I found. This was also definitely thrifted, but oh my goodness. just went down. I bonked my knee on I don't know what and I caught myself on my bad wrist. Ow! Actually almost dinner time now so I'm gonna make empanadas. I will share that with you because is this an authentic um, like Spanish recipe? Absolutely not. I'm allergic to corn so a lot of these types of foods I can't make authentically because the um, you know the shells or the outer whatever it's called pastry. I don't know what you call it. Um, whatever the outside is, usually has corn of some sort in it. It's probably traditional, but I'll show you the way I make it. I also want to show you the reason I'm thrifting. I've got this cabinet here and I made those doors for the front and you know, I bought the little door handles on Amazon. I think it was Amazon. It may have just been at Home Depot, but I bought the handles somewhere separate and then, you know, I got all the wood. I put the little accents on. It's not perfect. Like if you look up close, there's lots of glue and whatnot and I put you know the hardware on over here to the hinges because I just wanted this to be closed up but it's this and then that shelf up there that needs some help because originally this was all Christmas decorations and before that it just didn't have anything on it and this shelf I didn't put up until December of this past year like I didn't even have anything up here but I put that shelf up so I could put more Christmas decorations up and then when I took everything down it just looks so sad and empty so that's the main reason I'm thrifting tomorrow is to get things for here so, yeah I put these picture frames up which I took these pictures of these trees here on a hike once but I don't really love how it looks i enjoy the candles i like that the cd my cd player right here which looks like a record player it's so cute shout out my sister rebecca for asking for this for christmas and then me also getting it but i like how that looks i don't love the symmetry of the picture frames necessarily and obviously i don't love having nothing at all up here so that is the main goal of thrifting tomorrow is for apartment decor originally was not going to let myself go shopping at all for this so i was just gonna have to live with it because i'm trying to spend a little bit less money through the months of january and february since i spent a lot on christmas gifts and i'm going on that big trip in march but i found a bunch of cash in my wallet like physical cash and so i'm gonna allow myself to spend that because that's not money i had calculated into my budget so that's what i'm gonna be allowed to use 
for this trip. Seeing that it is dinner time, I am starting on the empanadas here. So, what we've got in this pot is I cooked ground beef, cooked onions, put it in with some water and taco seasoning, which I actually ran out of my taco seasoning, taco seasoning. So I put a ton of spices in here. Hopefully, I mean, it smells like what taco seasoning usually does, but I think it's cumin, paprika, chili powder, garlic salt, a little Italian seasoning, and some pepper. Yeah, that smells really good actually. So that's gonna be what's inside. Also have some cheese for the inside. Yes, I buy Sargento. I know it's more expensive, but it's the only shredded cheese that doesn't have cornstarch. Fun fact, I usually use straight up crescent roll dough, but I got the Trader Joe's crescent rolls because that's just where I was grocery shopping this week. They should work the same. I feel like they're probably like the exact same stuff, at least baking wise. Um, the way I do it is I like them to be round. So I'm just gonna take this dough and like roll it up and then flatten it out. So it's a circle instead of a triangle because I much prefer that. So let me do that to all of these real quick for you. Okay, so when I said circles, this is the best that I can make happen today. Usually I'll roll them out and then cut them out with my circle cookie cutter, but I don't know. I just didn't want to today, so stay. Here's what I've got. I've got an egg, fork mixed up. I've got my cheese and I've got four little circles. I'm saving the other four for tomorrow. Um, I could cook them all at the same time, but I feel like they're so much better eaten fresh, so I'm just gonna save the dough. Basically, all you do is you take one of your doughs, and they, they really are shrinking up on me as they sit there. You want it to be pretty thin. Not to the point of breaking, but pretty thin there. And these are definitely looking more like squares today since I didn't roll them out. But you know what? It's fine. Here it is, all ready to go. Got a scoop. And you don't want too much. Even that might be too much. I'm gonna try and keep it on one half of your little dough split here. But we are remembering that this does have a bit more stretch to it. This is where I'm gonna take a little bit of the egg and just kind of brush it around the edges. Not too much though, I'm kind of afraid of too much egg, but this is kind of like the glue that helps it stick together. So once you've got a little bit there, I'm gonna pull this up and over right here. And there are a lot of ways to close an empanada. You could just smush it together and leave it like this, but I like to add a cute little fold. So you start at one corner and you just kind of fold it up. And then you take this part, fold it. Once you've got that, you can do a little more brush of the egg on the top, just for a nice, beautiful finish there. And that <laughs> is one. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? Now, after attempting this, I do think the Trader Joe's crescent rolls seem to have a little bit less dough than the Pillsbury crescent rolls, which is what I usually use. Or maybe I usually use the Pillsbury pizza dough. Either way, percent have way more meat <laughs> than I will be able to use in these. It's like, they really don't hold that much compared to what I've made. I'm just gonna repeat the same process again and get all four done. I just realized I forgot to put cheese in the first two. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> did I put cheese in the first one? I literally can't remember. I don't think I did. I do not think I've reached into this cheese bag yet. That is so depressing. It's fine, you know? I was so focused on my on my brushing and folding techniques. <sighs> Just like that, we have two cheeseless empanadas and two actual complete empanadas. You can put 
anything else you want in these. This is just all I had tonight, but you could do like obviously lettuce, tomato, green peppers, I don't know, anything else that you wanted. This is just like an extremely basic form. Um, also, reminder that I am absolutely not a professional, nor did I find this recipe from a professional. Um, I think most people make their own dough, and I just attempted it with crescent roll dough once, and this is what happened. But I'm going to put these in the oven at 400 degrees for like 10 minutes-ish, maybe a little bit less than that, we'll see. Here they are, my four little guys. Let's do a taste test. Take my lactate. It's too hot, but it tastes really good. Delicious. I should have put some more seasoning on the rice though. It's kind of plain. Be 11 p.m. Um, I need to do my dishes and I needed motivation. So I just baked two cookies and I'm making them into an ice cream sandwich. And I'm gonna eat them before I do my dishes. I hate doing the dishes. They're my least favorite chore. Someday when I'm rich and famous, I'm gonna hire someone to do my dishes for me. That looks way too thick. That's so good. Welcome to Saturday. As you saw, I went to ballet class this morning. I swear my Saturday mornings and Sunday nights, just my weekends in general, are so much better with those two classes. So I like pay for them and stuff, but also it's just, I don't know. I feel like in college on the weekends, it was all about like going out or going to someone's party or going to this show or that thing. And there was always something to do. And then my first year of graduate school, there was like, less to do and it left me kind of looking for things to do on the evenings being like oh, I need to find some party to go to or someone to go out with but I don't know this semester is just it's really solidified in good stuff you don't have to just do something just to do something you can find things that you actually enjoy etc with all of that, it is now thrifting time, so I am waiting for Veronica to step outside. Hi to Veronica! Oh! <laughs> I was trying to get hey. your entrance in the vlog. <laughs> I'm here! <laughs> Thumbnail! Now that I wear daily contacts, I am keeping a collection of them. Um, I've seen a lot of people put them in like a tiny bathtub and it just looks like a bubble bath. Oh. So you just keep them when you take them out. Okay. And it's kind of crazy. So I want a little receptacle for my contacts. Oh, yes. Kind of weird, but I need it. And then my it's shelf. You. Yeah. My shelf that had the Christmas decor on it is completely empty. So just really anything mm -hmm. that could fill. I'll probably put a plant up there. You need a knickknack of sorts. Yeah. Even a couple. Because it's just, it's completely bare. And it's really sad to look at. Um, mm -hmm. And then I have a list of clothes that's okay if I buy like a pair of black jeans, etc. Mm -hmm. But I can't buy too many clothes because I don't need them. Yeah, I I, I have way too much stuff, but if I am particularly inspired by any clothing items, yeah. I'll probably allow myself to buy them just because I feel like I'm in like a fashion lull where mm. I like Whoa. fell into <laughs> the habit of, oh, <laughs> I fell into the habit of just like, wearing a baggy t-shirt and leggings every day for like a year and it's a half. It's the Alabama sorority girl look. Yeah, and so Class now look. I'm like, I don't know what my sense of style is. Like if I'm like, oh, I'm trying to look cute. What do I wear? I don't even know anymore. Yeah. So if I find something I like, feels that's rare now, so. Yeah, if I, mine will either be the few basics that I don't own or if I find a statement piece mm -hmm. that requires my attention, then I shall collect it. I know, I could only bring one. <laughs> wow. See, 
us in Greece in a few months. Yeah, it's, it's giving study abroad. For sure. Guess how much I made. Comment below your guess. It was Three, two, one. One hundred dollars and thirty-four cents. My largest. I was shocked. Me too. I I've never seen like a a buy out that. that I know. Much. I've never seen someone. I've never had that much. I think. I think I made sixty dollars once, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much. But I wonder how much these Lululemon donating girlies make. You know. They probably make a a good bit because that's what they want the most. Is like is the Lululemon. Lululemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. We are off to America's Thrift now, where we're gonna look at more home stuff, and then Sam's Club to round out our day. Perhaps we'll stop at the Goodwill, but I feel like I'll be done by that point. <laughs> Maybe this brown oh, one? This might be me. Oh yeah, she's, she's great. Guys, look at this. It's got like a look at this ladies lady party dress. It has a corset back. The fun fact about America's Thrift is that you can't try anything on, so you just have to be brave and commit. I got to work. for six dollars. Yeah. I don't have an occasion to wear this yet. But we'll find one. We'll find one. Hey guys, the real reason we're here, home decor. Let's go. Oh yeah, we should go. <laughs> Some that are just silly little knickknacks, and maybe some that are things like that I could put something in, you know? Imagine putting flowers and stuff in, like, yeah, like things like that. The amount of real stuff. What's that? <laughs> That's incredible. What do you think guys? Should I get a huge TV? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This cart is so... This cart is just like veering to the right. Put the carts off to the side. Don't leave your hand back in there. All right, let's move the carts off to the side right there because it's easy. If you can touch a table, I can just hand you free things and I'm not throwing anything at you inside the store. Squeeze right in, let's make this easy. And let me slide it on your knees to you. Don't worry, I'm not going to hug you or bite you unless you want me to. Hugs are free, <laughs> jokes get worse. It's supposed to go, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. We're going to love some french fries, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Potato like this, watch this. Massive potato, doesn't matter. Nice, even, slice, homemade, healthy, french fries. Oh. It cuts evenly, cooks evenly. You're not impressed by this, you're dead inside. As you can see, very safe for the kids. It will never, ever cut them. And William Sonoma carried these for $10 for one reason. Boom. Oh, you bake them up, bounce, you saw good to go. Who's got children at home, Granky? Guys, we are driving out away from the Goodwill. I forgot to film anything in the Goodwill, but it was fast. Says, yeah, we, we were running. We only allowed ourselves to go to the section with home decor picture frames and things. Um, but we, I don't know that I filmed that much in Sam's Club either after our free sample moment. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think you did. That was so funny. That man we'll, was we'll so funny. You, you just saw the clip of it. But mm -hmm. basically, it was right after we walked in, we started hearing this man's voice coming out of a speaker. We couldn't figure <laughs> out where it was coming from, and then he was like, free gifts right now. Mm -hmm. And we are like... Yeah, he started his presentation by giving us all free paring knives. Mm -hmm. Then did this Which whole presentation of this incredible mandolin chopping th machine. And honestly, if I was like a housewife and wasn't in college in like a ratchet apartment, I would have bought one. I also was just like, he had so much charisma. He did, he he deserved to make sales. He, he sold all but one. I know, That's and why, someone else I'm, might have I'm come sure along was, after we left. Cause he said, it's made it seem like he was going to do another presentation later in the day, but then because we bought so many, didn't have to because yeah. he was like well seeing how this one went i'm not gonna have any more presentations today uh what we've got here <laughs> the back seat right now we're heading home right we'll here. do we'll do a haul for you guys so you'll get to see it's full except for veronica's sam's club stuff we won't bring that inside but 
we'll show you everything else that we got. I'm at a stoplight, that's why I'm not looking at the road. But yeah. Veronica's still holding the camera, don't worry. I am. Um, <laughs> but we'll show you everything we got and then Veronica can just tell you about their Sam's Club stuff. They'd be pretty stupid. Stupid, stupid fly. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> got him. <laughs> got the little guy. That's what you get for trespassing. Guys, we shocked. Look at the pile. Look at this. Okay, so what should we do? Let's do Sam's Club first. So yeah. you can just tell them what you got. And I'll show them. Okay. So I got one piece of clothing at Sam's and so did Veronica. Mm -hmm. Here's mine. It's a heart print sweater and I justified it by, I don't have, <coughs> I feel like I swallowed the fly. I don't have a pink sweater. I don't have a sweater with hearts on it. It's really soft and I have nothing for Valentine's Day. I actually don't it's have a sweater. Vince Camuto. Anyway. It's a yeah. really good brand. Vince Camuto. So I got that. Crescent rolls, pack of four. Ginger ale, pack of 24. I love ginger ale. It's like the only soda I like. I've got two snack packs. You can see here are pretzels and Cheez-Its. Those are the individually packaged snacks I chose. I keep some of them in my car. They're just easy to grab, honestly. Mm -hmm. And portion control, because if you give me a box of Cheez-Its, I'm eating all of them. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of toilet paper here. And then this laundry detergent. All practical. That's my Sam's haul. And you got your one pair of pants. Yeah, well, so I got a bottle of rosé. I got a pack of rain energy drinks, which I never buy like stuff like that on because it's cheaper just to, like make coffee. But rain energy drinks are so yummy. Me. And I think it's good just to have them. I'm not gonna drink them every day, but they'll be like just in case I don't have time to make coffee. Um, and I got the egg rolls and I got the chocolate covered pretzels. Because they're so good. And then I my clothing item from Sam's were these like off white straight cut pants they They're actually have pants. such good clothes at sam's club i need to just start shopping for I my know, clothes I there i should have bought more Anyways. i would i would have gotten these other like jean ones and they had the comfiest like sweatpants of all time <laughs> but i had to have self-control but if they haunt me That's i'll be going job. back <laughs> you can always go back okay i'm trying to speed through this because i know this is like this is already four minutes long but okay. Most of it's you killing a fly. Oh, I guess that's true. <laughs> okay. So Goodwill, I'm the only one that bought stuff because it was our last stop and I just need a few more home things for my shelf. I don't know why I'm working in like backwards order. A little lamp, which I need to buy a shade for. I got this pitcher. Needs to be clean, but Very all of this pretty. stuff was like literally a dollar. Some of it was half off. A wicker basket for my wicker wall. Y'all have seen the wicker wall before a picture frame, it's room for three pictures, and then this, these cards that have S on them. Mm -hmm. So just some stationery. So, and we've got, let's do America's Thrift mm -hmm. next. So you can go since I just talked okay. a lot. <laughs> um, I didn't, I, America's Thrift was the one purchase of the day that I was like, Wasn't, I, was I didn't need any of the things I bought and I easily could have not bought them and probably forgotten about it forever. It's but, easier in America's Thrift to buy things because they're all cheaper. Yeah. So. so I don't know why, but I was like, this is just the most perfect little <laughs> box. You could really put anything in it. So the thing about I, being a girl, you said it perfectly. It's just falling in love with little things that you can put things in. Yeah. It's literally like part of the girl, being a girl is just buying little boxes and trying to figure out what you can put in boxes, them. Boxes, dishes, etc. Yeah, probably gonna be a tampon holder for now. So, um, and then I got, it was only like $4 and it's like my favorite color blue. So it's just like a plain sweater, but. A good basic. And then <laughs> this gown. Y'all saw this in the clip. Okay. So I I'll show you all what I got at America's Thrift while well, she, gives that a little try on yeah. so i only got one clothing piece and it's a long black coat um i've never owned one before and this just feels really solid quality and you know i'm not 100 percent sure like i don't have a place to wear this right now but i could almost also even wear it as a dress and i'll definitely find a place to wear it in the future if i ever go to new york that would be great you know 
or maybe I'll bring it with me to London. I don't know. We'll see. Then I got, again, remember the goal of today was trinkets for the shelf, which I never usually let myself buy trinkets, but since that was the point of today, super exciting. So I got this teeny little typewriter. It doesn't like, it doesn't typewrite, but it's so beautiful. Um, I got, this is in a bag, but we all know I'm a frog lover. So this has a thermometer and a froggy guy and then two little dishes, which the dishes I may end up redonating if they don't have a place in my home. This, which I thought would be great for putting flowers in. This frog, which is very beautiful and can put a tea light in. And then lastly, <laughs> this might be my contacts receptacle. I'm thinking it looks like a little fountain, but just imagine all of my contacts in there. I think that would be so funny. Yeah, so that's all I got at America's Thrift. The rest of the stuff in here is our free things <laughs> from Sam's Club, a little spiralizer, etc. So I'll wait for Veronica's try on and then we will show you our last stop, which was our first stop, which is Plato's Closet. Hey! <laughs> wow, it's so magical. I know, and it's definitely vintage, I can tell. You should, we should wear that and run in a field and I'll film you. I was drone. thinking the same thing. Uh, we'll do a drone film. So, it's so lovely. up close, I'll show you the fabric. It's got little like flowers on it. It's so fun. It also has like a mesh thing up underneath to make it poofy. There's going to be one day where you need a dress like this and you're going to have it and they're going to be like, why do you have that? And you're going to be like, because. The front is literally like exactly yeah, literally the right perfect. length and then the back has a little train it's so perfect. to it. Wow. And then the top, it's like a very great cut. It's like so... It's like a square cut, but it also comes up the sides a bit. Yeah. It's... And um, then the back is a corset back. It cinches you in. So... It can expand or decrease depending on what you need. Yeah. Wow. This was $6. <laughs> Wow, guys, don't sleep on the ball gown section. I, listen, I've bought at least <laughs> five ball gowns that I didn't need from I thrift stores. I haven't ever. I need to look more at this. Beauty. And I've found a use for all of them. To be fair, I am a Greek life girly who's dating a Greek life man. By this, so, she means sororities and frats if you're not from a college. Yeah, ad. so there's a lot when of reasons school, school, I didn't gowns. know what Greek life meant. I didn't Not either, that. actually. Okay, I'll show you what I got from Plato's. I got four things. What if I go home things. in this gown? Why not? <laughs> Just walk in your house Just like that. Just for my room. Right your room. I, know. I know what you're thinking. Sarah, aren't you wearing stompy boots right now? They're different. Here. <laughs> so these are combat boots. They have a little heel, yes, but they got the bow tie and the zipper. These are more like the rain boot type. Again, did I need these? No. Were they a good deal and fit perfectly? Yes. Plus, let's remember to why I have so much stuff is that I had cash. So the Sam's Club stuff I bought on my card because I get double points on groceries, but everything else I bought with my cash and had good deals and discounts. Okay, three clothing pieces. This jumpsuit for work, which has pockets. Um, it's Calvin Klein. It's the right length. It was just all around good. I love a jumpsuit for work because it's so easy. This top, Brandy Melville. Um, again, basic. It's really cute. Cute, basic. And Brandy well. is like... It was like slightly brand. loose, but that's what I want because too tight is just not it anymore. And then I found a pair of black jeans. I've been looking for a pair of black jeans for so long that fit well, so this was good. I tried on like five pairs, and the first four were awful. And I was like, well, this is no luck. But then the last pair fit perfectly. Sorry if you can hear the dogs above me. We've talked about this before. I say this in like every vlog. <laughs> and lastly, a belt. Is it a size extra large? Yes, but I have a belt hole puncher for a reason. Oh, I was about to say, did you try that on? Yeah, because this is where it hits. Oh, you're but, gonna have a lot of belt tail. Yeah, but I, I enjoy a lot of belt tail because then you can tuck it in the back. Mm. So. That's my, that's the end of my haul of the day. You, you got just what you need at Plato's. Yeah. You know? yeah. Two of her items were slays and then the two tops will also be very useful. Yeah. So I love a striped top. So this is just like stripey. It's a good one. Tank. Easy. It's knit. I also really like when they're knit. Lip. 
It's American Eagle or? Um, oh. Shein. I bought a second hand. Only hand-hand. buy Shein second hand. I'm guilty of purchasing Ow. in the past. Oh, that was my, my hip. God. <laughs> I'm guilty of purchasing, but. I once know. you found out. Yeah. Yeah. Freshman once you learn, fall for things. Once you learn that things should not be shopped at, then you stop. If you're watching this, you've now learned. Stop. So true. Second handle. Okay. Um, then I just got, this is like a knit plain beige tank. It's a good one. It's one I could easily wear it while I'm teaching with like a cardigan or just like. Or even like with a blazer, like dress yeah, up. Yeah, it's like, like very nice or I could wear it with like casually jeans. with yeah. like jeans. And yeah, so very fun. Um, and then. These are the two these we've exciting ones. seen, I think. Actually, this one's more exciting than this one. <laughs> um, this one is going to be for my grad photos. It's a plain white romper. It's very good. It's like so like classy but fun because it's yeah. a romper. And functional. Yeah, and I'll be wearing a red cap, so it'll be like the contrast. She's a red cap girly. We have a great, by the way, I've talked about my trip on here, but I haven't said what it is. Veronica's the one that will be on the trip, so you'll see when, once yes. we get to the me talking to my zero YouTube viewers. Once we get to that point, you'll get to see my full itinerary and all of our adventures. Yeah, maybe it'll be the one that goes viral. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm speaking kind of, of study of abroad, speaking of um, this dress is the epitome of like Greece semester. Yeah. And I was so thrilled when I found this. It fits so well. I think it's, you all saw it earlier too, but yeah. yeah. I'll give them a close up so you can I know, see the texture. It's, it's knit. It is like hand. It's, it's really beautiful. It's knit with blue and orange. It's like tight but not too tight and it's the a perfect it's a length flare yeah yeah it's just giving mediterranean and i can see the mediterranean from my apartment in greece i could see so, it as soon as i saw the dress i was like i can see yeah it. it was like meant to be the like the gods were like oh! <laughs> the spiralizer yes that's the whole haul my nails match um, this gown too look at the glitter I didn't vlog any of my getting ready or my outfit. This is also the worst lighting ever. I don't even look like I, ew, I look disgusting. But I'll show you my outfit later. You can sort of see my top. It's really not that exciting. It is 2 a.m. I just got home, but I remembered I promised to share my outfit. So, here you go. This is it. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm absolutely sleeping in tomorrow. I'm so excited. I haven't been able to sleep in at all this week. I guess a little bit this morning. I slept until like 8.30 this morning. But tomorrow I ha I get to sleep in for however long I want to. So that is happening. Happy Sunday. I slept in and it's been a pretty chill Sunday. I really haven't done much of anything until this point. I did eat lunch. Um, and I'm off to Birmingham now. I think I said this yesterday, but Saturdays I have my ballet classes, Sundays I have my aerial classes, and they're just the best parts of my week. I'm feeling kind of weird <laughs> right now because I put on, you can't tell, I'll lift this up, you still can't tell. Um, I put a t-shirt over it, but I'm wearing this long green jumpsuit workout thing that I bought probably a year ago and wore once and I found it today and realized I haven't worn it since that one time after I bought it and so I decided that I have to wear it today and if I don't like it I'm donating it because it's a pretty nice little thing maybe I'll dye it black that might make me more interested in wearing it but I don't know it just feels weird so I'm forcing myself to wear it today because if I'm never gonna wear it and I hate it today and I hate how it looks then why would I need it? Just pulled up at the gas station, class is over. Honestly, it was <laughs> not my best evening. I'm not gonna turn my light on because I'm gonna put the videos of me doing my tricks and stuff over my face right now. So enjoy, but I had such a bad headache that immediately onset once I went upside down for the first time. And I think it's because number one, my sleep was way off last night. Number two, I haven't drank alcohol in a long time, like over a month, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm like not a big drinker in the first place, but I, I didn't even drink that much last night. 
anyways as i was saying i just think I, my body was not having it today <laughs> so i kept falling i also um my wrist is still my wrist and hand like my grip strength even and like some rotations and stuff it's still pretty weak from my injury yeah my injury was in september but ligaments don't play with ligaments <laughs> it takes a long time for them to heal but um you know i'm glad i showed up because i was really able to review mentally and also it just makes me happy to see all the people there and some of them can do some crazy cool stuff so i always enjoy watching them and like getting ideas and inspirations from them as well i don't know if i've talked long enough to have been through all my clips but i bet i have so i decided i am going to go to trader joe's because it'll make me happy <laughs> which is i'm just not going to spend a lot of money there i'm going to get a small amount of stuff just produce and then maybe a little treat because i just i just love a little treat little treats really fuel me in case you were wondering this is how it all ended up i did buy a shade for the lamp just a basic shade, but everything else besides the plant on the shelf is thrifted. The pot for the plant is thrifted. My little goose guy. And then down here, I ended up moving these two candles onto the silver tray because it felt weirdly too symmetrical with them to be on either side. And the silver tray kind of matches with the little flower holder thing I got. So this is the fountain that I'm going to put my contacts in. You can see them here. I don't know if this is weird, but I've seen a lot of people do this where they have something like a little bathtub or something that the contacts just look like water. So that's it. There it is after a few weeks of having daily contacts. And now I am showered, looking a little crazy, but going to bed. So this will be the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!